Ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the announcement of the evening. And now, introducing to you, hailing from West London, United Kingdom, coming in by way of the dance hall and grime scene, it's Lady Yorkers! weight cap and what is your least favorite weight cap and why well i love boxing full stop but i love a knockout but for me the best divisions have always been waterweight middleweight and heavyweight that's it waterweight middleweight and heavyweight but then you can't underestimate the featherweights it's man like naz these guys jazzed up the featherweight division um, but it's always it's always been water, water middle. That's where the superstar fights are. Water middle, and obviously in re recent years, you know other divisions have come into play, like super middleweight and um and and I mean, because Canelo's down at super middleweight now, super middleweight. that's the division. You know, yeah. um, yeah. seen, saying that you know that um, Celeb Plant won last Caleb. night. Caleb, and then, he's, Caleb I don't like that. Caleb. Yeah, Caleb. I don't like those. No disrespect. But I don't like those kind of fighters. I don't. I don't pay to watch points. I pay to watch knockout. That's all I want to see. So that's why. Obviously, you get the rare exceptions where you get a sweet boxer. Billy Joe Saunders, on his night, is one of those guys where he don't need to knock you out. He can just bedazzle you and excite you with footwork and skills. Mm -hmm. But other than that, listen. We all love Mike Tyson because of the KO. Because of the KOs. If Mike Tyson was doing points, 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 points you, you, come on, let's think about Mike it. Mike Tyson, like, uh, this may be a naive question, and sorry, guys, don't all come in my comments and tell me I don't know nothing. Has Mike Tyson ever went to points in his career? Oh, yeah, yeah, for sure. Did for he? Sure. Some good, uh, even when he was young, coming up, well, he, you know, he was the youngest ever heavyweight champion. But yeah, I never, was, saw, I never saw him fight. <laughs> I think the... Um, I didn't see if, any of those. Like the 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 the, the okay. run-up fight, the run up fight. Did that go to points? Yeah, I think the run-up fight went to points, and I remember Lennox knock out Ruddock after that. Yeah. Um, so that was a good fight. Um, there was a few other fights that you know, good fights that yeah. Mike had. Um, uh, Tony Tucker was a good fight. Yeah, I see. Uh, some of them, some of them like. Were, like just a little on the younger side that so i'm just going where my memory kind of jumps in and my memory jumps in with mike i don't ever no, actually the first fight going from the first there. fight mike stopped him but the second fight with ruddock which was a good fight yeah one by unanimous uh, points division uh, decision yeah and that was a good fight but mike was just so entertaining that you didn't pay from to watch mike go points i just remember yeah because when it was on when it was pay per view or I was in box office or whatever back in the day, people used to moan of paying the big big money only to see Mike demolish them in like three rounds. Yeah, like, yeah, oh. yeah. But, but, that, but that's what made it so exciting. That's what made it so exciting. Yeah, so yeah. That's why, and that's what Mike's going to be known for. You know, cool. get around yeah, the television and uh, and 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 and, and, and but yeah, I see. Speak your mind. Sports talk says that was not a good performance by um, Plant, and this is what I'm saying. I don't want to see like, you know, he's like a man trying to, you know. And don't get me wrong. Yeah, go on, you guys. Don't get me wrong. I was just going to say what to try, he's, he's, he's supposed to try and emulate Floyd. You see what I'm saying? But I just think that he doesn't have the one. He don't have the trainer trainers to 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 do that. And if you got a trainer that. Is doing that. They gotta be really imbued and studying Roger more so than Floyd. What, Mayweather. Saying that Rayleigh Plant against Truax wasn't a good defeat. No, no, no. Good. It wasn't a, like it. It was. It, it weren't nothing. Even yeah, the highlight he rules were. He did. Yeah. Up his nose. He, he did. Yeah. Face. Yeah. Um. But, but, uh, he, he got some decent punches in. What I saw, like, it was I didn't stay up for it, like, because I didn't think it was worth staying up with. But I will watch it when it all comes out. Like, I'll, he's I'm okay. Gonna, you know, he's a he's a he's a good fighter. He's he was, he was he. Everybody knew that he was gonna win. Like, yes. to, it, to be fair, but um, yeah, just wanted to see because it was quite built up in America over here. D, that wasn't a built up fight for us. Like, we really didn't really care about it. But um, well, maybe some people cared about it. But in general, it wasn't 
it wasn't a big fight here. But do you want to know what my favourite weight cat and my fave, uh, my least favourite weight cat? Because I think when when I listen to your ones, yeah, of yesteryear, I'd agree that those weight cats were the sick weight cats. So yes. my favourite weight cats are one three five uh, heavyweight. Mm. One three five, one four seven, and heavyweight. But yes. they, why, yeah. why, why would you say one three five? Is that because of today's? Because of work? today's, what's going okay, on today? Because okay. I've, I, not boxorian guys, so I can't really go back in like nineteen forty nine. This week class was. I can. I I know my favorite fighters from then, and then I realized what weight cuts they was from, and a lot of them, you know, like the Eubanks and that middleweight and stuff. Yeah, like and. Even like Joe Calzaghi's like all day long weight yes. middleweight super middle like introduced yeah all day. The long. reason is the reason is is because a lot of those lower weights you only ever get one standout champion. Yeah, but I in like, the world, yeah, but in the world as the middles and the heavies you usually get three or four, and that's what makes those divisions so exciting because you want to see the fights between each other, you know. But when you got one standout like Joe Calzaghi for me was just dominant in super middleweight forever. Yeah, you know, and that, but but and people would, was interested in, because of that. Yeah, the, the light heavyweight division. I don't know. That's my it's, least favorite weight cat. Yeah, it was only it's only it's a, we we jazzed it up. Yeah, we, like one, <laughs> we jazzed yeah, it up. One seven five is my least favorite weight cat. Um, and I'm gonna go as bold as to say, like, uh, yeah, I'm not, I'm not that. All right, no, one six eight wasn't mine. Like it was my least is for a little minute as well, but because Canelo's come in and it's kind of you know like when someone jumps in the pool and then all the all the bubbles jump up and the bubbles that are jumping up at all fighters are like oh yeah oh yeah oh yeah so that's made me a bit more aware since Canelo you know being in the one six eight cap but it wasn't a cap that I did like pre 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 like that is super middle in it like yes. at this current time so yeah one seven five one forty air to me. I, I can't even read. Really, I don't even know. Yeah, yeah. What yeah, point is not really. Yeah, you got, boring. you got you got Ramirez and and, yeah. and Josh. Josh but they're, like, on, they're not really guys that you say. Yeah, I'm gonna sit down and watch those guys. You know. So yeah. So yeah. So that I definitely. Well, yeah. So one forty. Obviously, Ant being in one seven five, he's the like sweet, like knockout guy. So that like this is what I'm saying. Little elements have made me see other things, but it's just like I feel like one. One seven five really needs a lot more jazz because you got you got great fighters in one seven five. You know you got the Bataviev, you got the Bibbles, you know you got these guys, but they're not they're not guys that you're gonna switch in unless you're from Russia, or, yeah. where, where, where they're from, or maybe Canada, Canada. You know you're not gonna you know you ain't gonna get people's pulses racing because whether they're good fighters or not, we we've, we've seen that today's foreign market. Yes, you're always gonna have your diehard boxing purist, yeah. but purist, but you need to be you need to be someone who reaches out to more than just the boxing fans, and that's why you got the Garcias, that's why Anthony Joshua's you know uh, are, are, are making so much money inside mm -hmm. and outside of the ring. So yeah, those guys, but you know, you can't mess heavyweights, everything revolves around the heavyweights, always has, and everybody oh, wants oh, that heavyweight, everybody yeah. wants the, the, the heavyweight, so like, like you said, like growing up, I didn't business. All right, I just looked at the star guy, Nassim. Like, cool. He was the only one that I could like look at, at them seven stone weight cats there. Is that <laughs> Nassim? Yeah, yeah, of course. And uh, Naz was known. I remember when we went to Vegas, and that was a few years back, and people still talk about Naz to this day. Naz really brought something different to the sport, and um. Yeah, he he lit up that division there. He made boxing excitement because that, let's get it right. At the end of the day, that's what people want to see, and that's what people pay for excitement. Yeah. So whether they can, whether they can back it up or not, listen. There's a young man, Prince Patel. People hated him. He didn't do he didn't go, he didn't do well. He's still fighting today, but yeah, yeah. just he was someone that you wanted that you love to hate. So oh yeah, people just watch that. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So. Uh, and and it's, and it's been like that in the history of boxing. You know, we yeah. need to we need to have someone to either love, like a Frank Bruno was loved by many. You know, not because he was a bad boy. Jude McKenzie, same thing. 
you know, and then you've got a Chris Eubanks. Ooh, bro, you have a love him or you hate him. You don't business. Karen, I love you bad. Karen, I love you bad. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You understand? But, bro, it's just like his son. You can hate him all you want, but he's making peace. You know, and, he, and, he, and he's doing what he's doing. So, so yeah, it's, it's he's, our wonderful. He's not doing what he's doing, but anyway. What he is, he's making the right noise. No, listen. Yeah, he ain't doing nothing. He ain't doing nada, right. mi amigo, nada. Man, let's get it right. Canelo is fighting someone who Chris Eubanks Jr. knocked yes. the hell out. Yeah. So he's done, he's doing something right. Well, he's, they've done something right so far. And he's got big fights. He hasn't won in them, but he's, he's he's doing something. Yeah, I just wish he'd just be a bit more active, to be honest. It would be nice to see because he is getting on in age now. And I didn't realise how on in age that he's getting. getting yeah. um, I'll tell you another, sorry, another weight cap that is... Like a bit mundane and boring to me, but even though I've appreciated bits of it, the cruiserweight division. It's boring. Dry, like my it's blood always been blood. boring. It's always <laughs> cruiserweights have always been boring. Like my blood clot, tours and no <laughs> cruiserweights have always been boring. Yeah. Right, buddy, you can you can hype up as much as you want. It's it's that it's that it's that like the, 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 the daughter or the son that you don't want. Kind of well, I, that would never happen to me. But it, that's it. It's, it's in between. But I like, get you. It's either light heavyweight or heavyweight. No one don't care. Yeah. About the cruiserweight is cruiserweight is the middle child. The middle yeah, it's the middle child. child. Yeah, that's the, that's what I was looking. For. Yeah, the middle child. <laughs> it's so dry. It's just like no. That's why um, like Lawrence Akoli is probably itching to leave it, and then then they just part it right. Bridge your weight. You still can't get there. Bridge away is going to yeah, be... Yeah, bridge away is nonsense. Have you seen... Like, I thought it was a good idea to try and bridge the gap of, you know, of where it went from uh, from uh, cruiser to uh, heavy. But yes. I've seen the listings and it's just... The only, the only people in the listings of, like, the top 20 in the in, in the in the bridge away, I know four fighters. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, listen... I mean, again, again, uh, it just shows you... It just, uh, Shad, it just shows you where boxing is. You know, boxing has become, I mean, it's always been about money and there's always been a small percentage of people that are blessed enough to get that money. Right. Uh, but I just think that there's just so many belts nowadays, so many divisions. We're really just lost in in a new world of, um, yeah. it ain't serious. It's just not serious. It ain't serious no more. You can't, you, you just don't, that's what I'm saying. More People are making more money outside of the ring than they are in if you're not a top guy. Because yeah, it's yeah. about hits, it's about subscribing, you know, and so yeah. it's kind of it's kind of killed the sport a little bit. But it's the way it is. You got to either adjust to it, yeah, or, or uh, raise a rudder. Yeah, that was a bad boy fight. Raise yeah. a rudder. Yeah, did with Tyson. Did you see the Stavern and um, Brian fight? I saw. No. Did, uh, so this guy won. Yeah, Trevor. I'm Brian never won. Uh, so I now. So Stefan had he's been out of the ring at least nearly uh, nearly to three years. Came in looking like piece of shit, but um, he was dominating to the bits that I saw, and then he got he got knocked out in the eleventh round. Oh and wow! Brian uh, is what he's not really an up there. Like, yeah, but now he's a WBA but, champion. But now he's a WBA champion, and how he got in that ranking was all a bit weird, anyway, because you know the WBA and then just how they do things it's just wild but i mean he was younger because he is only even though he looked the same age as um as Stavern, he's at bright's only 31 and Stavern's like 42 43 didn't realize that Stavern was that up in age do you understand so yes. the corona whole thing didn't do him well because he didn't keep up the training within this time so he came in looking mad heavy mad not in shape even Bryant didn't look in shape. So I need to watch the fight in its whole entirety. I saw bits and bits, but definitely I saw the knockout and it was just like, wow, like this is what happens when you don't really take your team serious. And the WBA, like I said, put this guy in position and yeah, now he's a WBA or title holder. Mm. That's not, much to, not much to say about it now. That's it. Move, move it on forward. And then, yeah, and that was, that was it. Cause I just see someone say that in the comments. So I want to get to these, uh, I want to get to these things. So, yeah, I was just saying to you, like, yeah, how's Ant? Is he doing well? Because I've seen, like, stuff of him in um, Mexico. Mexico. Yeah. And I like that. I like that he writes in Spanish because, you know, hablo español también. Comprende español. Muy bien. Sí. Uh, me gusta mi gente. 
todo el día, todos los días. I love all my people, all day, every day. Tú sabes. So, um, yeah, so I want to find D. Razor, Razor Rabbit. Uh, Rabbit, yeah. Top, <laughs> top five dance all. What did you say? Top five dance all dot com. Dance all come down selector. Yeah, Bernie Mac. You know we say Bernie Mac. We love a we love a Bernie. We love a Bernie. So uh what do you say there? The pound for pound boxing show. Whitaker is my favorite boxer of all time from Virginia, so there's some bias, but he's definitely here. Yeah, and we know you. Yeah, come on, bro, tunage. Anyway, what we say is. Big up, Lady Stan, Lady Knows Boxing. Thank you. I'm a student of the game, as I always say. Um, student of the game, I learn about boxing. I'm, 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 I'm surrounded by these greats, and it's it, I'm flattered. Do you get me? I get to come on, let's uh, speed up now, Shan, because it's almost yes, flattered. I know, Tay. You know, I know mommy's, get... mommy's waiting for the, the call. Oh, the card, but yeah, yeah, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Hang on, come um, on. let's get where this, where is um, uh, where was it? God, you were saying, you were saying about and in Mexico. Yeah, yeah, no, I was just saying to the people that I thought that he's in Mexico and I like that he writes in Spanish because obviously... Uh, I'm he's probably like, using the like, translator. Don't let Anne fool you, man. He's using the translator. Yeah, 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 but I mean, it was still good to <laughs> see him like to do it. I wanted just to say where these ones and that, that was that was it. Where is it? God damn. You guys, I love it. You guys are really... Oh, here it is. Okay. Okay. T, this is... The huh? question. This is the thing from Speak Your Mind Sports Talk. Was it are English or US? US. Okay. Um, okay, Mr. J. What up, Yard, and the amount of his progression? I feel like the game plan against Arthur was less than to be desired. I've got to be honest. What's up with that? Well, listen, Mr. Speak Your Mind Sports Talk. I find it kind of, I find it strange because it's like, Fighters today, or people that watch boxing, feel that everything that you do is supposed to work, one hundred percent of the time. Like I don't, I don't get it. Like, I, so it's, it must I be because it's just, it must be because it's just me, <laughs> and because we've done things the way we want to do them, and that people are you have a certain amount of individuals that are waiting. They have been waiting to say something, as if we're not supposed to lose. Why didn't you all say that with Smith when he got broke up the other day? Where was the game plan there? Why did and and let's let me just get this straight. You know, Joe Gallagher is my is a very I, I good friend. Count Joe as one as a friend and a great yeah. friend. Yeah, and and what where was the game plan with Luke Campbell? Yeah, when he got broke up. So why is it you all like, want to? question me like I'm in some interrogation business like where anyway, like, that's a good point. So, 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 let, this is what happens in fighters Look, this is what happens in the fight game you may have a game plan and, and, it, and doesn't it doesn't go to plan but mm. it's like I've said nobody's heard me make any excuses there's been a lot of lies that's been said about me and 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 in the in in the corner and things we said in the corner or we were supposed to say in the corner it's all lies but none of you ain't heard me say nothing because it's just one of those nights when you understand that there are just nights. And let me just say, I still don't think we lost the fight. But, why? Seven but, 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 uh, that's what it says. But I, you can't get me on that narrative that we lost because I've watched that fight over and over again. But it's OK if you just want to put jabs. Your highlight rule just wants to be jabs. So you make it like we just said, bro, you, you didn't put the same highlight rule for us. You see what I'm saying? There were shots that we threw you didn't count. But again, it's it's past. But what I'm trying to say is that regardless of whether you had a game plan or not game plan, everything doesn't go, always goes your way. Johnny Nelson had 12 losses. Not, but he stayed with the same trainer. And he became the longest reigning middleweight, what is it, cruiserweight? cruiserweight champion yeah. out there. So it's a learning lesson. I keep saying he to you. for seven that, years. It's seven years. I keep saying to people that Anthony had such a limited amateur career. 
12 amateur fights. But in under four years, he's fighting an elite champion. Something guys that have been in the game 10 years, 15 years, have, haven't had the opportunity Fuck to do it. They've never had the opportunity to do that. So I can't see where, I can't see where the fact that we lost, we supposedly lost a fight by one point. Let's get that right. Or, or what, one judge gave us six rounds, another judge, both judges gave us one point. Yeah. I don't understand where this support, where all this uh, criticism and where this talk is coming from. Like, it ain't coming from a right place. And that's why I will never really address it. It's only because I'm on Lady Shan, so, and Lady Shan is the only person that can get an interview at this moment in time from Tunde Ajayi. And that's why I'm talking about it. But I don't need to justify myself, and I don't really feel I need to justify yourself. But let, let me just close off by saying this. For those of us who have lost, and I could, I, I don't need to talk for Anthony because Anthony knows how to, and that's why, again, that's why I'm kind of drawing back because I'm like, all right, cool. As far as I'm concerned, and I've done a lot for Ant already, and Ant has done a lot for me. But I want you to all think about if you've lost one family family member and how that affected you. Anthony lost four family members in the space of six months. He spoke about the fourth, you know, the fourth one. And he still went in the ring. And and anyone that's seen Anthony fight, you know, to me, Anthony could do a hundred times better than that. But but and that's all it is. You know, you take your hat off to Pat and Lyndon. I said this after the fight was over. And fair play to them. You know, we'll, we'll you know, hopefully we'll get a chance to run it back and we see where it is. But Duke McKenzie lost, became a champion. Not once, not twice, but three times. Fighters lose. You new Fight generation. Ali lost. You knew you are Ali lost. You lost. new generation of fight of fight fans have to get into your mindset that everybody ain't Floyd Mayweather. Everybody ain't Joe Calzaghi, and everybody ain't Rocky Marciano. Fighters lose. That's what happens. The best game plan. You you may still lose. We've come up against guys who are far more experienced than us in this sport of boxing thus far. We've beaten them. Man who's been in the gym all day long, we've beaten them. But again, I keep saying it. You show me the fighter who had no amateur career, just started boxing, and in less than a few years of him boxing, challenged for an elite world title. Then, then come back and chat to me. So that's how I'm going to answer that question. Yes, the game plan might not have been right, but that's what it's all about. It's all about learning, learning from <coughs> all of us sitting down, discussing it as a team and see where we can improve. And we go again. You understand? And, and, and just what it is, fair play to uh, the other team. Uh, it is what it is. We're still here. We ain't going nowhere. <laughs> yeah. Yes, Thanks for the day. I hope that uh, was an answer to your question. I even learn every time I do these. I I, I learn. I, that's why I was just quiet for once. I was like, uh, yeah, put up my mind because I like that. He said, uh, sp "Speak your mind." He said, "Wow, I didn't even know that. That's crazy. Tough to deal with." I felt Yard could do much better myself, as I said. Uh, so we agreed that I appreciate you answer the question. I'm a forty year old, forty year fan too, brother. <laughs> yes, sir. so you're experienced. So you know yourself, my man. You know yourself, and I've always said, boxing is 99% mental and people look at me sideways when I say that but if the mind ain't right the body doesn't go right you know um, and oh, the, the Greek said that you know and so I try to imagine myself because nobody knows how Anthony was feeling other than Anthony but if I could imagine how it would be for me to have to haven't had to deal with so much and still try your best to perform is something. So, you know, Anthony's there resting off. He's going to come back. And I've got all the faith and belief in the world in that young man. And uh, he can do whatever he wants in this sport of boxing. He just got to just dedicate, train hard and stay focused. Yes, sir. That's all we do, guys. I hope, <laughs> that, I hope that we'll be hearing this in a minute. Because we are going to wrap it up, guys. And you guys have been the best. And we are going to keep everybody always in the loop with the current affairs of boxing. I hope you learned a lot from Tunde, as I always do. And uh, 
Yeah, thanks for you guys for coming through. So you may as well end it with what? Um, Go on. With what, Late Show 42? <laughs> right, oh, right, no, you've got the ending bit right, but we, there's another one of that one in Late Show. <laughs> no, you so said dream it, believe it, receive it. Nah, man, that's some, that's some um, Deontay Wilder thing. That's why he mash up. I keep telling him. It's dream it. Oh, no, wait, 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 wait. We have to do this thing. Yeah, no, you do your thing you first. Do. You do your thing. No, no, no. It's your show, so let me do my thing. And then you and uh, Yeah, you got very fast. <laughs> Come on. Dream it. Believe it. Become it. Hey, girl, this Leah de Shan rep nonetheless. Come box with Shan. Gone. Gone. Right. <laughs>